Silvana Marinkovic has vivid memories of her husband Goran and there's no end to her grief. He's been missing for nearly 20 years. Silvana says it was tough bringing up their two daughters alone. Out of all the difficulties I've faced, the hardest thing is when my daughters ask where their father is. Silvana is convinced that Kosovar Albanian fighters abducted her husband along with hundreds of other people. She's put much of her energy campaigning for a non-government organization that's demanding justice for relatives of those who've gone missing. Goran disappeared in June 1999. According to NGOs, he's among an estimated 500 Kosovar Serbs still missing. And according to the government, the figure of Kosovo Albanians stands at 1,200. Naturally, the word missing still has a tragic resonance right across Kosovo. And still, after all this time, there's a clamoring for some form of justice or closure. The Kosovo Liberation Army stands accused of abductions and atrocities. A special court was set up to investigate. But Kosovo's leadership, many of them KLA veterans, have spent the past six months trying to get rid of it. Although now they've agreed to it again. Not independence is above everything. How do you feel personally about your position I feel in very terms confident. Of, in, of a possible indictment? I'm very confident. I am very proud on that, what we did on our freedom fighting. I don't know who's going to be prosecuted. Most of the pressure on Kosovo's leaders has come from the United States. What I do know is the special court is important to Kosovo's future, both in domestic rule of law terms, but also to demonstrate to the international community that Kosovo can keep its word. None of this diplomacy about a special court impresses Silvana Marinkovic. Pitanya. If they really wanted to do something, they could have done it a long time ago. The UN police had testimonies that were still fresh, but they wanted to hide the truth. And Silvana's distrust is shared by many of those still waiting for any word on the fate of their loved ones. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Gracchanitsa in Kosovo.